Lebanon, the country I'm currently standing in. In 2020, Beirut port blast killed more than 200 people. The families of the victims continue to demand justice, but it looks like they are running out of patience. Last week, protesters demanding a probe into the explosion have threatened to attack Lebanon's justice palace. We tell you all the details. On August 4th, 2020, a blast at the Beirut port killed 220 people and injured 6,000 others. <laughs> the explosion devastated the entire neighborhood, displacing around 30,000 people. Some three years later, the victims' families continue to demand justice. The anguished citizens threw rocks at the Beirut Justice Palace and burned tires outside the building last week. Family members of the victims protested the alleged interference of the police in the blast probe. They claim they've become targets of the judiciary. While the senior officials responsible have still not been held accountable for the devastating explosion. This corrupt state is demanding the relatives of the victims for questioning. Where are those who blew up Beirut port? Where are they? Why don't you summon them? Why didn't you bring those who have arrest warrants against them? Around a dozen people were summoned for questioning after last week's protests. I was summoned for questioning today and we are proudly coming. We are proud of what we did and we have nothing to be afraid of. Yes, we broke the justice palace, but blame is on them. Shame on them to call upon our parents. This is what we blame them for. We will go inside the police station and follow the legal procedures and what will happen, will happen. After the protest, the authorities detained William Noun on January 13th. Noun lost his brother in the blast. His detention drew crowds to the police station until his release. We will appear before the courts. We demand the law to be applied. We are not above the law, we are under the law, but on the condition that everyone is under the law. We come to the police who are applying the law as per the judiciary's demand, and we go as the law says, but on the condition that the law applies to everyone, simply. Noun's detention also prompted a stern rebuke from Maronite patriarch Bechara Butros al Rai, who is Lebanon's most senior Christian cleric. The detention of our dear William Noun, wounded in the core of his heart because of the loss of his brother in the Beirut blast, shows that the judiciary has become a tool for vengeance, malice and hatred, and that security agencies are carrying out police state practice. Aren't they ashamed of themselves after they requested the arrest of this young activist, who is demanding his right, the search of his house and his imprisonment, not caring for his tragedies, and the tragedies of his family. Families say politically affiliated detainees could also be released and those behind the blast would continue to roam free. <laughs> the explosion was caused by hundreds of tons of chemicals kept in poor conditions. The chemical had been shipped to Lebanon in 2013 and stored improperly at the warehouse. A handful of senior political and security officials knew of its presence and the threat it posed to the city. Bitar, the probe's second investigating judge, sought to interrogate top figures in the Shiite Muslim Amal movement, which is an ally of the Iran-backed and heavily armed Hezbollah movement. He had also sought to question the then Sunni prime minister, but the senior officials who were called resisted being questioned. They said they had the immunity or Bitar lacked authority to prosecute them. They denied any wrongdoing. The probe has been paralyzed since the judges in a court that must rule on complaints against Bitar had retired. The issue remains unresolved. Bitar's predecessor, Judge Fadi Sawan, was also removed in 2021 following high-level political pressure. For many, the failure of the probe into the blast reflects the impunity of the elite that has overseen decades of corrupt rule. It even led to a financial collapse in 2019 and the worst crisis since the 1975 to 1990 civil war. Bureau report, 
We on World is One.